It was raining the other night, and I took this video, and I talked too much. So I want to show you this video with the voice turned down, the sound. I will turn it on a little while later when I'm not talking so much and let you hear the sound of the rain. But what you're seeing here is the lights on two factory buildings that are in back of our house in another lot. And the rain was blowing in on the porch where I was standing and getting on my lens. And so this morphed the rain, morphed those lights. There's a little uh, part of a half pipe that is something skaters skate on that you see underneath that, that pinkish colored light. Don't pay any attention to that because that's just the light shining on that structure. But uh, do pay attention to what the the light does because it's according to how I held my camera. I moved it back and forth and up and down and sideways and slanted and and in many ways to get it to do more of this morphing because I thought it looked pretty beautiful. But not only that, here's another thing I wanted to show. I do some gazing at light, either at the sun or at a light that I have in my room, and I can see this sort of activity. Only it moves according to how I move my eye. According to the size of opening I'm allowing my eye to open, and which eye I'm using, for the right or the left, or both at the same time. It depends, uh, what I see depends on the movement of my eye. Well, now our eyes have water in them. So and when I put eye drops or maybe tears come to my eyes because uh, what I'm seeing in the light is so beautiful. Sometimes it brings me to tears. Then all of this really clears up in a way that it's really precise and I can see it better. And the movement of my eyes makes those edges of that move. It's a, I'm the one who decides what, whether it moves by the movement of my eyes. So we have some kind of cooperation with the light that our way of looking at things, physically even, mentally too, moves the light. And I've never been able to draw good and I've tried, tried to draw some of what I see, but it's a moving thing that I see. And this is just a small sample because I see much more. I see vortexes of light twisting and turning, and I see a disk of light turning on its side and turning into a long ribbon with lots of color in it and just darting about. And sometimes the little fronds of light come right straight at me and it looks dimensional, like it's coming to me. And uh, I know the sun is doing some pretty strange things these days, and we need to take notice of it. And I would encourage people out there who maybe like me, like to experiment a little bit with photography. And I do it just a little bit. What I'm using is a little flicker can uh, I think it's called the flip or something, a little digital camera, and uh, very inexpensive. And I've got some amazing pictures with it, but I can imagine an even better camera would do even more. And uh, try filming light through a film of water. The water causes the light to refract or reflect in strange ways. As you can see here, these lights are doing. And um, it, I don't claim to be an expert in saying what is causing this. It may be completely natural and something these little cameras just do. I don't know. I just think it's quite beautiful. But because I see light with my naked eyes, 
and I see it doing some of this sort of thing, I tend to want to bring spirituality into this a little bit and think that we are seeing more in the light and discovering more about the light because actually we are light, we're made of light and we need to understand more about light. It's a fascinating subject. Anyway, I'll let you hear the rain. I'll turn the volume back on. I'll unmute it. Where is that? Oh. 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 I forgot I got my headsets. I can hear it through my headset. I have to turn on my speaker. you just listen to the sound of the rain and the thunder and the wind blowing into my camera. Okay, now. And there I am talking again. I talk too much. Oh, I turned it the camera upside down. <laughs> and on its side. I love fooling with photography a little bit like this. Yeah, see that light right there? Right there. I use my little mouse to point to it. Well, maybe this is not something strange and extraordinary to anybody else, but it is to me. And I really enjoy discovering how to show some of the things that, that I see. Th this is just a small sample of what I see in the light. It does this, this thing where it just spreads out like a thin veil. But when I'm looking at the light, it makes a vortex and just goes round and round, back and forth. It goes round one way and then turns and goes round the other way, alternating its direction and colorful things floating through it. It's just like, I don't know what I'm looking at. It's like, I've asked Spirit, what am I looking at when I look at the light? And I thought I was looking at what an atom looks like, but it's not. I'm looking at light itself. And it was, made. I was made to understand that light informs the atom. So light begins before the atom begins. So what I'm seeing is not the atom, it's what fills the atoms. And we're all made of atoms, and we're all made of light. The more we understand it, the better off we'll be. You can hear the rain kinda coming down here. Okay, I'm not going to uh, continue showing this. It's just pretty much more of the same thing. I hope you enjoyed this. This is the Dove Lady over and out.